Hi loves, Jay here with your monthly tarot predictions for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or if you have Leo anywhere in your chart, cross watchers are also welcome. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you're old or new here, welcome back and welcome to the community if you are new. Be sure to stick around till the end so you don't miss your final outcome. And if you like to book a personal reading with me, all of my info is in the description box below. If you're new here, know that I will, I will be channeling spirit messages throughout this reading. So we're going to tap into your collective insights. I've already pulled a pre-shuffle for you so that we save time on camera. And I'm going to hop right into your spirit messages and tapping into your messages here in meditation and being in your energy, Leo. Spirit is, is saying everything will be okay in due time, okay? Um, you're in a place where you're going to be um, getting a renewed willpower. We're not talking about it. We're being about it. We're doing it is what Spirit is saying. We're not talking about just willpower. We're not talking about it. We're just going we're gonna to be about it and we're going we're gonna to do it, okay? Some of you need to stargaze as well. So connect with the stars to help you gain perspective, whether that is a situation that you're faced with or you're just leveling up in life spiritually, consciously. Stargazing is going to help you develop new perception, new perspective. You may um, you may lose a friend, okay? I don't know how that shows up for you, but I'm feeling the energy that you may lose a friend and or gain a friend, okay? So when one door closes, another one opens. I hope it's not in the way of you losing them like to death, but I do feel like um, it may feel like a death for some of you as losing a friend, okay? So, but... As you release, as you, as you move people out of the way, there's more people waiting in line to be a part of your existence and your in your journey. Um, Leo, summer is going to be a very fun time for you. I could feel you've been working on something and you're going to be enjoying the fruits of your labor. You're just going to be enjoying the summer season with people you're cultivating new relationships with, which is pretty cool. And I can hear you say, I'm happy, okay? And I, I want to hear you say that. I'm happy that you're saying that. If you're not there yet, it, happiness is on the way. And know that never, never depend on anyone else to make you happy, okay? That is just kind of like icing on the cake for you, okay? A bonus for someone else to make you happy. But you have to be, happiness is from within. And some of you will be financially investing in your future, which is super exciting. Okay, so that means, that lets me know that you've been working on something, you're leveling up in some sort of way, and you're going to have the means to be able to invest in your future um, financially. Okay, so let's hop into your cards. Your angel numbers that I pulled two, uh, two angel numbers came out for you. We have zero, 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 zero. So if you are seeing this number or you're needing to see this number, this is about limitless potential. This is a time for you to make a reset, to relax, um, un, uh, surrender to the unknown. You're at the finish line. You're coming up on that finish line. This is about success and victory. It serves as a timely reminder that anything can be accomplished. If you can dream it, there is no reason you can't make it a rea reality. If something is in the possession of another person, it is also available to you. Okay, you better speak, universe. So try to remain calm. What's meant for you won't pass you by. Let go of tension and relax. And this is why I feel like stargazing will help you relax. Okay, the other number that we pulled, 2112, if you're seeing that, this is, it's up to you. Someone watching over you, good fortune, unforeseen forces, direction. Even if it seems like you're not making any meaningful progress, things are moving in the right direction, Leo. If you see this number, it's a sign that everything will work out in your favor and your dreams will come true soon. Remember I said that um, in your spirit insight. Um, what did I say? Let me go back to my notes. Everything will be okay in due time. So things are going to be changing for you soon. So 0000, 0, 0, 0 21, 12 are your angel numbers. The a chakra that you need to focus on that may be feeling a little weak right now or out of balance is your solar plexus. Okay, so this is letting you know that 
working on your esteem, your confidence, self-love, self-worth, pride. This is all beneficial for you. I'm also hearing you guys need to get out and ground as well. 21 breaks down to a three. This is about creativity. Some of you have been feeling blocked creatively and working on your solar plexus, which is three inches above your navel, kind of like in that rib cage area at the pit of your stomach. Um, focusing on that other area, whether you're getting energy clearings, working with crystals, which we're going to pull next, is going to help you balance that so that you feel more confident, you bring in more self-love, you're loving you, are able to love others, you feel more worthy of the things that are coming in the the things and the people that are coming into your life and a sense of pride that what you're doing is what you meant to do is part of your purpose in this moment in this moment okay so solar plexus working on your self-esteem your crystal a crystal that you can work with during this month is turquoise okay turquoise your affirmation is um i am always at the right place at the right time with the right people you see what i'm saying you're cultivating new relationships with people and this is why you're in this culmination stage right now where um, you're cult this cultivating stage right now where in the summertime you're going to be having a good time with the people that you have built relationships with. The turqu turquoise stone can help you improve timing, increase the occurrence of synchronistic opportunities. It can help you be inspired with creative ideas, which you need. And again, working on that solar plexus help you develop understanding of various cultures and spiritual philosophies. So there's a lot of shifting that is going. So working with turquoise this month is going to open you up to being with the right people, building esteem and confidence. Remember to work on that solar plexus. And a message that you can consider this month is conclusions are within reach. So full moon eclipse. <laughs> We are smack dead in eclipse season, and we will be for the next um, five months. It's about a six-month process. So this is a time for conclusions. Conclusions are within reach, so closing out cycles, letting go of people who no longer serve you, releasing emotional baggage, um, sadness, any of that. Like It's time for a new start. So that is within reach here. Your overall energy is the queen of air. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. This is about you focusing on your independence, your experiences in life, being realistic as well. And when I think of witty, I think of using your intuition as well. Okay, so this is uh, an energy of um, objective decision making. So there's going to be some things that you're going to have to make decisions about and it can't be one sided. You have to see it from all perspectives. This is the reason why sun gazing is going to be beneficial for some of you. Because I do feel like some of you see a very clear future. But you're going to have to, I'm hearing some of you are, are going to have to take a different path to get to that goal. Okay, so you may have to veer off of the path just a little bit to get to where you want to be. And that's totally fine because you're going to learn something on that new path. Um, this is a... Um, this, this month is going to be about you clearing away all that no longer serves you. That's people, places, things, thoughts, emotions, letting all of that go and seeing the humor in situations instead of being frustrated because you're, you're a fire sign. There's a frustration that can easily come in and uh, sort of rock your world and, and shift things in your life. Okay, Frustration brings more frustration. Frustration leaves you stagnant. Okay, So making sure that you can just... See the humor in things. Laugh at the things that you cannot control. Okay, Leo? So let's get your cards out, and then we're going to clarify each of these for you. Okay. So we have the Two of Cups, the Justice, the Six of Swords, Two of Wands, and the Hermits. We have the Justice and the Hermit. Um, as major arcanas here. So um, could be um, thoughts or emotions around a relationship or around the job opportunity. This could also revolve around your conscious um, advancement in the spiritual world here. So I'm going to clarify the Queen of Air. We have the Fool coming out. Ten of Pentacles, as well as the Two of Pentacles. 
So some of you are going to have to make a clear decision about a new direction that you're taking, especially when it is revolved around money and how you're structuring your life and that investment that I was telling you about. You are going to be on um, you're going to be on this path to investing and you have to make a right decision about where you're going to invest your money into. What are you going to invest your money into? Okay, so those are things that you're going to have to get clear about if you want to create a legacy, a stable foundation for yourself, for your family. You want to leave a legacy for your family. You want to be very clear. Do your research around what you should be investing your money into or even your time and energy. Okay, so some of you already have an idea of that. But um, there are many options out there um, for you. There's, you know, IULs, there's annuities, there's rolling over 401ks, there's, you know, all kind of things that can come up for you. Um, it's just a matter of you looking into what is best suited for you, okay, and for your family. And um, I definitely feel like this is revolved around family or a relationship and how you're setting something up for the future and just being very very clear and transparent about what that looks like to you okay and even little things coming up that really um, that may have bothered you before you may begin to see that you know you just sort of you know you're brushing things off okay um, so that's what I'm feeling with the overall energy there's uh, shifts that are coming up there's clear visions that you're seeing you may have and you may have to veer off a little bit and try something different in order to create um, something bigger and better, something bigger, that, something that you didn't even imagine. Um, some of you also are leaving the little people behind, okay, because you that, that level up is definitely for real <laughs> here. And I know I've been saying that for a couple months because some of you are in this energy of really leveling up, but there's going to be a lot of change that is coming up for you where you have to, multi, you have to balance and multiply priorities because you are doing more things, making more money, have more opportunities at your disposal. So you're going to have to make sure that you time management is of the essence as you're starting new things. Okay. And the, the amount of time and energy that you're putting into some of these relationships, you're going to make sure you have to make sure that you're finding a balance where you're still investing time in yourself, acts of self-love so that you can fully be present when you're with other people. Okay. So we have the two of cups that's coming up with for I mean as your obstacle or challenge that could be lying ahead where there could be um, a disruption I'm hearing in a connection a dis that connection can show up platonic or intimate for you as well but maybe I'm gonna pull some cards around that but um, I'm hearing something something is not as it seems but let's pull some cards around this as well um, I'm, I'm also feeling you may uh, be facing uh, an issue where you're not on the same page with someone that could be a friend or um, a loved one, someone you're dealing with intimately. intimately. Five of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Nine of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And then your energy here with the Page of Wands. So there's something that you or someone may be holding on to. There may be an obstacle where someone may decide to like, you know, go their own way because they need to explore more and this may be you the page of pentacles where you feel like you might be feeling stuck in a situation right now where you may decide you're kind of i feel from the five of cups i'm feeling like you're scared to move on due to something i don't know what that is you're scared to branch out and have this independence but i, I feel like you're ready to explore some of you are wanting freedom. This may show up in um, your work a situation where some of you don't want to work for someone any else, a, anymore. You want to create your own thing. So you're set out on this new journey to explore what's available to you, what you're passionate about, and what could be lucrative for you. Okay, so that can come up in that way. And this could be a friendship, walking away from a friendship because it just no longer serves you. There's just, it feels like um, there could be disappointment here with the five of cups there could be regret coming up this is a loss mourning something uh you're mourning something okay so there's there's but i do feel like it's someone that you love someone that you love losing them to something okay losing them to another friend and losing them to another relationship losing them in general 
But at the end of the day, you're set out on this journey right here, which I love. It's a very beautiful journey where you're exploring different aspects of yourself and you're finding that courage that has been lost and you're persistent about um, growing and changing and feeling and experiencing your freedom. So I feel like some of you have been tested and now you're able to move past that and there's a, a sense of res resilience that is definitely coming up for you because it has been hard and it feels like you have um, it feels like you, you know, you have definitely been wounded in some sort of way, but there is a level of free spiritedness and discovery and excitement that is coming up for you. And I, I feel very strongly that some of you are wanting your freedom from something or from someone. So that obstacle is taking, making the decision to walk away from it. Okay. So that's an obstacle or a challenge that may come up for you. Where you're headed during this month is the justice here. So this is about truths, karmic justice, legal issues, honesty, fairness, law. Let's pull some cards around um, this justice energy. I'm also feeling balance and for you is, um, you know, focusing on that. Balancing work and play and all of those things. Ace of Pentacles. Eight of uh, Swords and then the Queen of Pentacles. So we're getting a lot of Pentacles here, which makes me feel like some of you are really focused on career and building financial stability and security. Um, but like I said, this could also play out in relationships as well. So some of you may be, I'm also, I'm hearing like I'm solidifying this Ace of Pentacles. I'm like, I'm solidifying a financial investment. So there could be something uh, I don't know, maybe you could be taking a loan out, signing something. Now, we, we are in Mercury retrograde until April 25th. Now, this is not, during Mercury retrograde is not really a time to sign big contracts. This is a time to do all your research, get all your ducks in a row. And when Mercury goes, re Mercury goes direct, would be a better time to sign because things, there could be glitches, there could be things that you miss, you know, you're overlooking things. In that way, there's there's an opportunity for something for there to be some sort of flaw and a flaw in the system as well. OK, so just be a user discernment with that and know that you heard it from Jay and you can do your own research on Mercury retrograde. But some of you may be feeling like maybe you are even trapped, <laughs> trapped in a contract, trapped in a relationship and you just want your freedom. OK, freedom keeps coming up. Um, for you, Leo, I don't, I don't know how that's going to show up for you. Maybe you know some of you are in something. There's an opportunity that is coming in for you, but you're feeling trapped in something. You're, you're either trapped in your thoughts. Um, you're, you're. I, I'm just feeling like you're locked down. You're like, I, like I can't get out of something. Okay, it, it feels like whatever this is is like binded. For some of you, this could be a marriage as well that you feeling you're feeling trapped in a marriage, trapped in a relationship in general, where you just like I. I want to have, I prefer my independence. I prefer my freedom here, okay? Because uh, this is, I mean, this is someone that is definitely patient, but I'm definitely feeling like uh, maybe you may wait it out. Maybe you may wait it out and hope that things get better. Um, and this is an opportunity for you to focus on yourself and nurture you and be, be practical. Um, but I do feel like you keep working at something, but I don't know if something's holding you back or you're just, this could be something holding you back or you're feeling trapped in some sort of way. You're feeling like binded to something that you can't get out of. And could this be an illusion that you are trapped in something? Because you're there. nothing is permanent. Nothing is ever permanent except for a guarantee of death, right? And still then you will re reincarnate. So... Whatever this is, it could be a temporary situation, but just know that this is not permanent. You're not stuck. You're not trapped. You can get out of whatever this is, whether this is a lease that you're breaking for a car, for a home, a relationship. It doesn't matter. Um, you're, you're getting, you need to get out of something. And I feel like once you get out of it, you'll feel freer. Okay, so there is an opportunity for you to get out of something. But I think it's you're thinking, I can't get out of it. Spirit is saying, yes, you can. Okay, so that's where you're headed. What's happening in your near future is the Six of Swords. Okay, so you're moving on. You're moving on from something. Okay, you finally get some relief and then there's some new direction. So you're overcoming 
some of these obstacles that you may have felt, whether that is you leaving behind a friendship or feeling like you're trapped in a friendship or a relationship or in a job or in a contract with something, you finally get some freedom. Wow, Leo, I'm just thinking how freedom keeps coming up. And that is what this month is all about as you're moving into. That's why I feel like you're going to have such a beautiful summer because you're going to feel like, how, you know, that I, I can... I can do whatever I want because I have the financial freedom. I have the freedom from a relationship. I have a freedom from this friendship that has been holding me down. I have a freedom. I have freedom because I've started my own business and I, I have autonomy now. So whatever this is that your focus or whatever you have been feeling stuck in, you, it's about to free. You're about to free yourself from that. Okay. You're moving to calmer waters, getting some relief, relocating so physically or emotionally for some of you. You're going to find stability as well. Those of you that have been wanting to travel, you will be doing that as well. Knight of Cups, Judgment, and the World. Yes. Okay. I'm feeling like past energy. And like I said, this could be a past energy that you have been holding on to. Or some of you are reconnecting with someone, moving in with someone, moving away from someone. <laughs> this could show up in different ways. So some of you could be moving in, moving out. Whatever this is, whatever you're doing, Leo, changes the trajectory of your life, of your perception, of your perspective of life, and your freedom. Like I feel like there's an independence, uh, and it feels like an energetic independence. It's not just because now you're single or it's not just because I'm a little bit more financially stable. Like I feel spiritually that you feel free. Okay. So that lets me know that you've been doing work. And, you know, for some of you, maybe that work has been around love, how you love, has been around your uh, lack and scarcity, around your relationship with money, whatever this is for you. There is a change. There is a sense of freedom. You have completed a cycle is what the world is saying. And there is a new beginning that you are stepping into. So look at this judgment because it feels like something had been possibly holding you back, like hovering over you in some sort of way. And some of you needed to do like forgiveness work. You needed to seek the truth within yourself or within a dynamic that you have with someone else. But this lets me know that fear and guilt have been coming up and this is a time for you to um, rebirth. That's what this feels like, which is why there's a change. Though it makes me feel like there's love that is coming into your life and that love can just be for self or there's someone that is coming in showing you the ropes. So there is an opportunity for change, for movement, for action to take place. Remember we pulled 2112 and that is about it's up to you. <laughs> it's up to you. Okay. Unforeseen forces pushing you in a new direction. Good fortune coming into your life. Because because someone is watching over you. There's a reset that is happening that I, I feel like is going to bring a level of peacefulness into your life. So that is what's happening in your near future. And what is your advice? Your advice is the two of wands that is coming up for you. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, I'm sorry, actually two of wands, that is your energy here, um, as well as Sagittarius and Aries. Let's pull some cards around this. I love, I love the two of wands in the way because it lets me know that you, you're not forced to make a decision about one thing when you don't feel comfortable about it. The two of wands lets me know you have options to go this way or that way. OK, so you have options to take a risk, to not be subjected to just one thing that you have to decide that you you don't even have to decide when you don't have opportunities. You just got to do what you got to do. But I do feel opportunities that are coming up for you. Some of these opportunities you have been waiting for. And the beautiful part is that you make the decision on which path that you want to take. So you're leaving behind comfort zones, whether again, it is around love and money where you're going to have opportunities to move into something that suits you. We have the Empress, the Five of uh, Wands, and then the Ace of Wands. That Empress, Taurus, Libra energy, and then the Wands are your energy here. So we move from the Two to the Five, and then we have that Ace of Wands energy here. So there has been... Um, 
there has been some feelings of 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 lack 100% that is coming up for you some of you and you've been waiting for an option and I feel like you have options whether that be in love career your friendships um, I, I do feel like some of you have been either battling yourself or battling other people that have been in your circle and I, I do feel like a new energy is now coming up for you so your advice is that you have to make a decision on what's suitable for you what's going to keep you happy what's going to keep you grounded what's going to keep you nurturing yourself and nurturing pouring into the people that are in your circle so that you can all grow together okay because it feels like conflict that has definitely come up with the five of wands whether you know you're disagreeing you're in competition there's a lot of tension and conflict a, a lot of going back and forth where you're being tested by people you're being tested to see, like, are you that right friend? Are you that right partner? Do you, are you my ride or die? Do you have my back? Like, all of these things, it feels like a lot of pressures on you having to lead. And I do feel like you're going to come to this point, and Spirit is saying, you will come to this point where you're going to have to make a decision to put yourself first. And that is most important. So you're going to feel inspired. You're going to feel like you have power and courage and to step into something that's new for you, okay? Um, it's like a new thrust of life, like a new excitement that is coming up. Again, a, an excitement about the freedom that resides in your life, in, in, in your internal world, in your outer world, okay? So Spirit is saying, make the best decision for you when you are faced with a challenge on needing to move away from people, places or things okay you are most important here with the empress nurture yourself is what i keep hearing from her focusing on your heart chakra so chakra as well as i'm looking at the self-esteem card that solar plexus in your heart okay those two chakras are important for you some of you are needing like i said forgiveness letting go of the things that happened in the past know that you aren't defined by those circumstances so this is about you focusing on love but again, I feel like it's focusing on love for you. The number three here is getting creative, it's getting connected, reconnecting with yourself, that interconnected with connectedness, knowing that you are part of the universal connection as well. Okay, so you putting yourself first here. I do feel like a lot of growth is coming up and there's going to be a lot of growth when you make this decision about choosing yourself and, and healing through some of the, the past traumas that you have faced past situations I do feel like there is going to be a lot of emotions involved in this as well but at the end you're going to end up happy I feel like you're going to put your foot down and you're going to put your hands up and say yeah nope this doesn't work for me I'm moving past this because I'm bringing in new inspiration and freedom into my life so that is your outcome your final I'm sorry that is your advice is to use your discernment and choose the right path for you okay the final outcome is the hermit Virgo energy. I'm going to pull some cards around this. Oops. Why is the Hermit here? This is energy of, again, focusing on you, self-care. When you focus on self-love and self-care, you receive guidance. You receive clarity. You receive, you're able to reflect. You're able to, you know, that introspection is um, is, is a beautiful process. Two of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, and then the Five of Pentacles here. So your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So look, Two of Wands again, you setting out to explore and discover life. Some of you may decide to turn your back to, um, you know, an opportunity or to a person that may have made you feel a certain way in the past. That's an, that's an energy that I'm feeling here as well. You may just, you set out to, to do something different than where you are. This makes me feel like some of you may be changing industries. Um, you Some of you may take a lesser pay to do something that you love. Maybe you may take more money, but there's opportunities. Remember the two of wands. It's, it's, you have two paths. Where do you want to go? You have, you have options in this. Okay. So, 
it definitely does make me feel like you could be turning away from something where maybe you're using your intuition and knowing that at some point it's going to uh, there's going to be some sort of loss involved there with the five of pentacles so you rather you rather go with what your gut is telling you where you feel free what you're passionate about what you desire in life and and some of you are not going to be focused solely on money because i do feel like whatever investment you decide to invest into it's going to create a, a life of stability financial stability and wealth and abundance for you where i feel like you don't really have to worry about money in the future so your focus is doing the things you love and being with the people who support you who celebrate you not tolerate you okay so that's what I feel is your final outcome that you may be turning your back to something um, because maybe you know making a certain amount of money is not as important to you as opposed to you having your freedom okay so it's you versus freedom like I mean it's freedom it's your freedom versus your money <laughs> okay I've never thought I would say that but your freedom versus your money because your money is going to grow your money is going to grow when you invest it. So it doesn't matter. So you have to focus on living your best and happiest life. So that is your reading, Leo. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If any part of this resonated with you, shoot me a comment below. Let me know if you like this style of reading. If you want to add something, take something away. Give me a little feedback. Let me know what you're needing in order to um, so that I can help you out on your journey. Make sure you subscribe and hit that no all notification bell. Like, share this with your family and friends. Enjoy this month. Many blessings to you. Things are looking up. So happy for you, Leo. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.